Thank you. Cleanup finally beginning at the Jacobs Smelter Superfund site. This comes more than 20 years after the EPA determined the area is hazardous. ABC 4's Ali O'Rulian live in Stockton at that site. And Ali, this cleanup has been a long time in the making. That's right, Emily. I mean, there has been lead and arsenic in this soil for decades, all from a smelting site that was shut down back in the 70s. Now, all of that hazardous soil has been blowing into the community, causing problems, but soon it's going to be safe again. 73,000 tons of lead and arsenic contaminated soil stretches 150 acres here in Stockton, with areas reaching dangerously high amounts of concentration. The, the threshold is about 3,000 milligrams per kilogram, and there are um, hot spots here that are close to 150,000 milligrams per kilogram for lead, and that's a real concern. But now, after over two decades of being identified as a hazardous Superfund site, it's finally getting cleaned up. It's good that it's cleaned up for the future residents and the children will be playing out here. The amount of toxic materials in the soil poses a threat to the community, especially kids. There's no safe level of, of lead, and um, children are uh, most susceptible to the impacts, so they can experience developmental delays, um, learning disabilities, etc. But thanks to the Bipartisan Infrastructure Act, the state's receiving millions in federal funding to make sure the soil is safe again. $12 million here in the first wave of funding is going to be transformative for this community. But it's a long process to get this site clean. Contractors will be hired to come in, remove a lot of the soil, replace it with clean soil, um, add native grasses, making it safe for kids and, and wildlife. The cleanup is expected to last until spring or late summer of next year. And once safe, Stockton hopes to expand and develop the area. Of course, before any development, there will be multiple tests to make sure this soil is safe again. Reporting live in Stockton, I'm Ali O'Rulian, ABC4 News. All right.